and welcome to Kids Corner on Armstrong Channel 20. I'm Miss Krista and I'm so excited today to be at Poland North Elementary School with Mrs. Resch's and Mrs. Metzger's first grade classes. Do you like owls? I love owls and that's what our story and craft are going to be all about today, owls. First we're going to read White Owl, Barn Owl by Nicola Davies. After that we are going to make our very own owl craft using just some construction paper, some gems, and lots and lots of glue. I really hope you love our book and that you try our craft. And if you would like Armstrong to come to your school, have a grown up email us at channel 20, that's channel 20 at agoc.com. Enjoy the show. Do you all have, who has a pet? Who has a goldfish? Who has a gerbil? Who has a guinea pig? Who has a kitten? Who has a bird? Who has a snake? I wish I had a snake. Who has, Mr. Matt's scared of him, who has a mouse? Who has a tarantula? Who has, or do you really? I think you're pulling Miss Krista's leg. Who has a turtle? I used to. You used to? Very cool. I saw they are. Well, we are going to talk today about an animal that isn't really a pet, but it's something that we have all seen, or if we haven't seen it, we have all heard it. So I'm going to make some sounds, and you've got to tell me what animal it is. Ready? Chirp, chirp, chirp. Bird. Um. That's what we are going to talk about today are owls. I love owls. Do you love owls? Yeah. I love owls. They don't have the most quietest things. They, they are. You're right because they have the lightest feathers. They have such light, soft, silky feathers that when they fly, you can't hear them. And why do you think that's good? Why do you think it's good? So they can because catch their dinner. Good, yeah. Is that what you were going to say too? Yeah, so that they can catch their dinner. Oh, I love it when you raise your hands. Yes. Uh, snow owls, they, um, <coughs> they sleep when it's morning and they go out and hunt their foods. That's like some that. owls, they go sleep in the morning and sometimes they hunt for their food at night. Good, you are correct. That is wonderful. We're going to read all about, because right now it's getting dark earlier, you're not always in bed when it's dark, right? Sometimes you're awake now because it's getting dark so earlier, so you might even see some owls. Are owls scary? No. Yes. No, are they, why do you think they're scary? Some people do think owls are scary, that's why, because you always see owls around Halloween time. Oh, I know. Why, why do you think some people think owls are spooky? Because in the dark they fly and then their eyes glow. The eyes glow, you're right, so you, you don't know because all you see are the twinkly eyes. Well, you don't know it, but there is a craft that I made before you came in that you're going to make after our story, and it is somewhere on the stage, and it has sparkly eyes. It's over there, over there. Do you see it? Yeah. Do you see Miss Krista's owl up there? And they're hurting your eyes. Well, you are going to make your very own owl to take home and perch somewhere in your house and see if your family can find it, okay? Perch somewhere dark so they can only see the blue. So, uh-huh. And then if you even perch it outside in the moonlight, the eyes will sparkle. We are going to read today a wonderful story called White Owl, Barn Owl by Nicola Davies. This is the very first time I've read this story. One frosty winter day, I helped my grandpa make a big wooden box. What's it for, Grandpa? It's for the barn owls to nest in, he said. What barn owls, I asked. But Grandpa just smiled. Wait and see, he said. We carried the box across the tussocky field. Grandpa put the box high in the old oak tree. How do you know there are barn owls here? I asked. 
I've seen one sitting on that branch at night, Grandpa said. Look, it's left something behind. Under the branch was a pile of little sausage-shaped blobs. They looked like dried poop. But Grandpa said they were pellets. The owls spit them out, Grandpa said, to get rid of the fur and bones they can't eat. He pulled a pellet apart and showed me the tiny bones and skulls inside. Will the owl come to our box tonight? Maybe, said Grandpa. Maybe not. Owls are wild birds. You can't be sure what they'll do. When the sun went down, we kept a lookout just in case. But we didn't see anything. We'll have to be patient, said Grandpa. We were patient lots of times. I thought we'd never see an owl. I am so excited to make this owl craft with our friends and I hope you try it too. All you really need is mom or dad to print you out an owl template online. And I got this one off of the internet and I printed it out and I made lots of copies for our friends. And I used pretty thick paper. I used um, special scrapbook paper for it. It's white, but it's thick enough so that when we start gluing our, our um, construction paper to it, it's not going to fall apart. For the feathers, we are going to use hearts. Thousands and thousands of hearts are in here. And they're not just any hearts. We're not gonna glue them on like this. We're going to glue them on like this, upside down. And layers and layers of this are going to make our feathers. Well, I made each of you an owl print and I cut it out and that's what we use if you look at the back of my owl you can see that's what I used for the back of it well also I guess for the front of it and what you're going to do and I'm going to show you before I pass it out I have lots and lots of tiny hearts but we're not going to glue them on like this we're going to glue them on like this upside down okay and we're going to start at the bottom so I am going to take my glue paintbrush. I'm gonna dip it in some glue. I'm gonna put a little bit of glue on the back and I am going to right at the bottom, I'm gonna glue it on. Okay, and I'm gonna make rows. I'm gonna keep going across and after that, we can start putting on some sparkly gems, okay? so that we can make sure that our owls glisten in the moonlight. So the first thing I'm going to pass out to make your special owl is your owl template, your glue paint brushes, which are just cotton swabs, glue, and the hearts. And we'll get started, okay? 